Hey, what's up guys? Omar here, broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Ome Realty. So today was a long day, sorry for the late update. Uh, like the whole 70, 80 people that actually watch this, whatever it is. But we're gonna do another mortgage rate update. And then as far as the mortgage rate update, we're also gonna talk about Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett's company, he has a mortgaging company over in Pennsylvania. They actually got fined because they were doing discriminatory acts against people in the minority groups. But did they really? We're gonna go ahead and talk about that, but let's get on with the mortgage rate update. We're gonna be doing 10 different products. We're gonna be uh, pricing out as of 8-4-2022. 30 year fix will be sitting at 4.37%. 15 year fix will be sitting at 3.53%. 30 year high balance will be sitting at 4.62%. DSCR loan, which is a debt service covered ratio loan. This is a loan product mainly for people who are in the investment world. They don't want to go ahead and use their W-2s or their income to go ahead and qualify them to get into like, let's say a duplex, a threeplex, a fourplex, whatever it might be, or even bigger into like, you know, your major 30 units, 100 units, 150 units, whatever it is. This will go ahead and calculate the total income that you have coming in versus the total debt that's going out, which is a debt and the service is the uh, income coming in. And that is going to go ahead and qualify you to the amount that you're going to go ahead and get approved for. Now, this is going to be at 7.85%, which had no change from the previous market day. Bank statement loan. Bank statement loan is one of those where we don't care about your W-2s, your taxes, or any of that stuff. We just look at the amount of money that's coming into your bank statements versus the total amount that's going out, you know, your debits versus your credits. And then we do a ratio that's usually 50% uh, ratio, but if you can get a CPA letter that states otherwise, I'm not going to get into details. I'll go ahead and put a link somewhere up here to go ahead and give you a better understanding of DSCR loans and bank statement loans. That is sitting at 7.62%. FHA 30-year fix will be sitting at 3.72%. 7 six adjustable rate mortgage will be sitting at 4.49 percent and now a seven six adjustable rate mortgage is just that it is adjustable rate mortgage the first number which is the seven is going to be the amount of the length and years uh, how long it's going to stay interest only at that interest rate then it gets adjusted to the rate and the cap on your product every single six months and then if you see a one after that it'll just mean every one year after that every six months there's some that are on the three there's some that are on the nine it depends so that'll be sitting at 4.49 percent usda 30-year fix will be sitting at 3.76 percent that is one of the zero down payment programs va 30-year fix will be sitting at 3.95 percent and hard money fix and flip will be sitting at 9.15 those are pretty much for people who want to buy distressed properties you want to go ahead and buy it, get a little extra cash flow to go ahead and flip the property and then sell it for a profit now Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger and if you don't know who Charlie Munger is well Charlie Munger is Warren Buffett's right hand man and then some people might argue that he is the brains of the operation that is the whole entire uh, you know the Berkshire Hathaway you know encompassing thing now the between these two guys they went ahead and god damn this construction i'm sorry about the construction beeping noises we live in a new development it's always construction but it is what it is now between charlie munger and warren buffett between them they you know uh, warren buffett's worth about a hundred plus million uh quote unquote uh charlie munger is worth about two point something billion dollars quote unquote uh, you know who actually knows exactly what their actual values are but between the both of them they own about 60 different companies whether you know it's uh dairy queen or duracell or coca-cola they did really really good and they're one of the most brilliant of all time long-term investors of our generation because there really isn't anybody better than these two guys now charlie munger he's a guy that deals mainly with real estate because his his background is in real estate he's a lawyer and a real estate law uh, that's what he got his degree in now they own a uh, mortgage company that's in Pennsylvania now the mortgage company is called Trident Mortgage Company it's a it's one of the parts of division uh, Berkshire Hathaway now Berkshire Hathaway encompasses a bunch of different servicing companies like my own company and if you were interested in any of those mortgaging products or any up to zero percent listing on selling your current home 50% commission rebate on purchasing your next home or any of the mortgaging products that I went ahead and state. Link in the description below now that we got that shameless plug out of the way. Now within uh, mortgaging companies and real estate companies like mine, we have different services that we uh, provide, right? Like we have an escrow service, we could do appraisals, we could do uh, whatever it is. We're not at title uh, yet, but title requires a lot of capital, but Berkshire Hathaway does have a lot of this. Now, you know, the Pennsylvania Mortgage Company tried they 
allegedly, okay? They allegedly said that they avoided writing mortgages in minority majority neighborhoods in West Philadelphia, Camden, New Jersey, Wilmington, Delaware, and the DOJ, the Department of Justice and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which we call the CFPB, they say that, you know what, you guys did discriminate. Now, is Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett, I, which that's what they're doing, attaching these guys' names to these allegations? No, I've met both of these guys. Now, I am a minority. I am an Afghan Muslim American man. I am the biggest minority, but these guys were like great, great guys. Shook my hand didn't have anything and besides you don't get the level of that they're at by discriminating against anybody they're not in the business of discriminating they're in the business of making money why do you think they became so successful majority of the companies that they have are mainly to go ahead and promote minorities so the bullshit that they have that's saying that they you know attaching their names directly to it is is absolute shit now exactly what they said they said that the DOJ alleged that employees of Trident would stop writing mortgages in 2022 made racist comments about making loans to black homebuyers calling certain neighborhoods ghettos. Well, you know, those are the employees and the employees sometimes say stupid shit, okay? The employees always say stupid shit. It happens all the time. But was it in a negative context? I know I've said ghettos before. I, everybody says ghettos once in a while here and there. It's not like you meet it in a derogatory term. Now, I don't know the backstory, exactly how they said it or what they said it. But was it really that bad? If you said, oh, man, like, yeah, that place is ghetto as shit. So you, 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 it's, you know, people get too sensitive about certain things. And then there was another employee, one of the managers, that was photographed. Now this is how they, could, this is how they stated. Okay, they were, they were, they were stated that they posed in front of a Confederate flag. Were they racist? Are they a white supremacist? Or I don't, like we don't know the whole backstory of it. But what, like, was it somewhere where he would, like, let's say he went down south or somewhere like that? Maybe there was a. Uh, a national monument maybe there was a very, like a tourist section that had a confederate flag in front of there like i would do it and i'm probably the biggest minority most of you guys know is it really really that bad like in the world of business in the world of business are we really at the point in time where we really care about you know what a person is black white girl boy whatever it is that you want to go out and claim yourself we're not in the business of doing any of that and if you are still being that asshole that sits there and hates on somebody for whatever it is i promise you there is not a single person that you could go to that you cannot sit there and have a beer with them and you can't come to a commonality with anything I highly doubt it. And you know what the problem is, is that a lot of people, they're segregating each other away from everything like that. Like, let's say for somebody that is a homophobe. If somebody is a homophobe, does that make sense for somebody who is homosexual to go ahead and keep themselves as far away as that person is over there? Or if a person is a white supremacist for a black person to stay as far away from them or just yell at them? Does that logically really, really make sense? The only way that anybody in this entire world could go ahead and make one person to understand another person is to go ahead and talk calmly, to go ahead and find a common ground, because majority of us, we're all in the shit sandwich together. And if any business is out there discriminating against you, then fuck them. Who gives a damn about every single one of them? Nobody cares about them. Let them burn. They're going to go out of business sooner or later. Now, I am a minority-owned business. I am a, I'm one of the biggest minorities. I'm at the bottom of the bottom of the bottom when it comes to, like, you know... And, you know, racism has been a, a, a big part, but it's not, it's not about what has happened. It's about how you progress and how you go ahead and overcome whatever it is that you went through. Now, I am uh, being Afghan back in 2000, in September 11th, especially me. I was, a, I was in the United States Air Force in China. I'm not going to go into the backlog of the story of that, but, you know... It, it, Nobody really honestly hates each other. The only thing that everybody has is a misunderstanding between one and another. If you are a homophobe and then you are a homosexual, does it really, really make sense for you to say, you know what, fuck that guy, that guy's a piece of shit, that guy's an asshole? Or would it go ahead and make sense to go ahead and, you know, say, hey, what's going on, man? How's everything? 
Why are you angry? And then make them like you. I know this sounds really cliche and it sounds so, so stupid, but I promise you majority of the time that it, 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 killing somebody with, with kindness and, and acceptance and it makes a world of difference, especially for a guy like me, right? For a guy like me and the generation that I grew up in. Now, in the generation I grew up in, we grew up in the whole entire AIDS uh, epidemic, pandemic, or whatever it is that you want to go ahead and call it. And then, you know, we were in school. When I was in school, in PE, in our, in our physical education classes, we used to play a game called Smear the Queer. It takes time for things to adjust and for people to understand and see the other side of things. And the only reason why I even say that is because this is how we grew up. Now, the generation that you're in now and whatever generation and whatever overly sensitive world that you live in, understand that you're, li you're dealing with three different, four different generations at any given time and everybody might not have grown up the same way that you did, but the only way that you will ever go ahead and break through that barrier is by making them understand exactly the world that you live in right now and find a commonality between it. And... Like I said, if somebody is discriminating against you or something, fuck them. Who cares? This world is too, you know, this life is way too short for anybody to give a damn about what anybody said. So, Trident's unlawful redlining. Redlining is just whenever you go ahead and cut any type of uh, real estate transactions in any way, shape, or form in certain uh, areas. Uh, deny communities of color equal access to residential mortgages. Strip them of the opportunity to build wealth and devalue properties in their neighborhood, said Kristen Clark, an assistant attorney general of the Justice Department Civil Rights Division in prepared statement Kristen Clark you are you are something else young lady that is that is pretty stupid so at the end of it, it like you can't that's just like being so dramatic about the whole situation obviously I don't know but the way that you're saying it like it's it seems like it seems like a little bit of a far stretch for a company to be this big to go ahead and start discriminating against people especially between uh, putting in Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger's name in, uh, in front of it these are two incredibly great guys never ever in the history of their being has there ever been anything where it is, and I uh, don't quote me on this but as far as I'm concerned there's never been anything where it comes to them and racism at all so who cares now the couple employees did that so at the end of it what ended up happening well for the doj and the cfpb they ordered trident to go ahead and set aside 20 million dollars to make loans in underserved neighborhoods which is a great thing i'm glad that they that they're doing it which i'm assuming that they're going to go ahead and do it anyway because let's uh, charlie or uh, warren buffett he said as soon as i die i'm giving most of my money away who does something like that come on it's a logical thing well that is going to be your mortgage rate update. Uh, hopefully you like the content. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and just be good to each other. Be cool. It's not a big deal. We're all here. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a short time. And until next video, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Peace.